Hey there, this video is about the Little Nerd Eurorack module, a very useful trigger and gate processor by Bustle Instruments. The module has two clock inputs and five outputs, which can be freely set to any one of seven functions. Before we go through each one of those though, let's have a look at the module layout first. The clock input 1 sends its input signal to the processors A, B and C. And the clock input 2 sends its clock to processors D and E. There is also a probability mix knob, however, with which you can have the little nerd randomly switch between clock 1 and 2, or even just use either one input for D and E. Next to each processor output there is a parameter knob to adjust its settings, and above those there is an LED and two push buttons, labeled Shift and Mode. To assign a function to a processor you have to turn that processor's knob a little bit, and then press the Mode button to cycle through the different functions, represented by a certain color of the LED. Now, you can either memorize those colors, or check the handy cheat sheet provided by Bustle Instruments. In the end, you will probably automatically memorize the colors, and I hope that this video will help you with that too. There will be a test at the end. So let's check out all of the functions. Red, delayed clock divider. This takes the incoming clock signal and delays and divides it, resulting in a slower clock than the original one, which can also be shifted in time. Turning the parameter knob adjusts the delay time, and holding shift and turning the knob will set the clock division from 1 to 16. Here's an example. The kick is our original clock, and the hi-hat is the clock divider output. And now let's repeat the color and function a few times to hammer it into our brains. Red clock divider, 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 clock divider, red. Green. This is a trigger to gate converter or a clock divided flip flop gate. Let's check out the trigger to gate converter first. If you turn the knob fully counterclockwise while holding shift, trigger to gate mode is active. Then turning the knob will set the gate length. If you turn the knob clockwise while holding shift, the function acts like a clock divider, switching the gate on and off each time the division factor is passed by the incoming clock. Turning the parameter knob without shift adds a time offset. Green trigger to gate flip flop. 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 Blue. Blue is a clock multiplier, making the clock output faster than the input. Turning the knob sets the multiplication from 1 to 8. Shift is not used here. Blue multiplier, blue multiplier, blue multiplier, blue multiplier, multiplier blue, multiplier blue, blue multiplier, blue multiplier. Cyan. This is a trigger repeater, which, as the name suggests, repeats incoming triggers. The parameter knob adjusts the speed and while holding shift, the number of repetitions. Cyan repeater, cyan repeater, cyan repeater, 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 cyan repeater, cyan repeater, repeater, cyan, cyan, cyan repeater. Magenta. Here we have a Euclidean sequencer, which makes creating cool drum sequences a breeze. You simply set the number of total steps in the sequence from 1 to 16, and then how many of those steps should output a trigger. The Euclidean algorithm will then determine when those triggers will fire in the sequence. The parameter knob adjusts the number of those triggers, and holding shift sets the length of the sequence from 1 to 16.
Magenta Euclidean, 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 whatever. Yellow. This is a clock oscillator or simply a square wave LFO. Turning the knob will set the speed of the LFO and holding shift sets the pulse width. This is free from any incoming clock signal so there is no input needed. You can of course patch the output into one of the clock inputs then and process it further. Yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock, 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 yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock, yellow clock. White. A white output acts as a probability output, which means that you can adjust the chance at which an incoming trigger is forwarded to the output. The parameter knob adjusts the chance from 0%, which won't output anything at all, up to 100%, which will forward all triggers to the output. Between those settings, triggers will be forwarded randomly according to the chance setting. Shift doesn't do anything here unless you set the knob to the fully clockwise position while holding the button. This will switch the white function into groove mode, delaying every second trigger. You can set the delay with a parameter knob then. This will give your rhythm groove or how it's also called swing. White probability groove, 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 white probability groove. Whew, okay, so as you can see, the little node offers quite a big amount of features in a tiny package. You can also save your settings to one of six preset slots by holding the two push buttons for a few seconds. But now, let's see if you could remember all the color coded functions. What is red? Delayed clock divider. What is green? Trigger to gate or clock divided flip flop gate. What is blue? Clock multiplier. Remember cyan? Trigger repeater. And magenta means? Euclidean sequencer. And what was yellow again? Clock oscillator. And white? Probability or groove. Well done! Please post a comment underneath this video and tell me how many you got right. And also like, share and subscribe for more videos like this. Have fun being a little nerd, thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.